because people were screaming to me for the last four or five rallies, read the snake, the snake. Does anybody, does anybody know what I'm talking about? She knows. She's been standing outside for four days, no wonder. And you look good, I'll tell you what. Four days outside in the rain and snow. Look at these front row people. These are warriors. They're warriors, too, like my congressman and senator. So this is because we mentioned, at least I made minor changes. They mentioned illegal immigration. This is about immigration. This, is a, this was a song from the 1950s, Al Green. And they mentioned, I have little changes to it, that's okay. But they mentioned illegal immigration, right? And I used to do this a lot, and people couldn't get enough of it, to be honest with you. And I haven't done it for a while. And I thought I'd do it tonight because you're on the eve of giving us an opponent. And all of these people want open borders. They want open borders. And we don't want open borders. We want very strong, closed borders. And we want people to come into our country, but they want to come in through merit, and we want them to come in legally, right? Right? <laughs> through merit and legally. Right? So we'll do this quickly. This is illegal immigration. It's called, oh, listen to how quiet it is. Listen to how quiet. Now watch how quiet it gets. It gets so quiet. But this is all about, I love you too. That was a guy that said that, but I love him too. I love everybody. Ready? So important, illegal immigration. On her way to work one morning, down the path, along the lake, a tender-hearted woman saw a poor, half-frozen snake. His pretty colored skin had been all frosted with the dew. Poor thing, she cried. I'll take you in, and I'll take care of you. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Take me in, for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman, sighed the vicious snake. She wrapped him up all cozy in a comforter of silk and laid him by her fireside with some honey and some milk. She hurried home from work that night, and as soon as she arrived, she found that pretty snake she'd taken in had been fully, fully revived. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Take me in, for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman, sighed that vicious snake. She clutched him to her bosom. You're so beautiful, she cried. But if I hadn't brought you in by now, you truly would have died. She stroked his pretty skin again and kissed him and held him tight. But instead of saying thank you, the snake gave her a vicious bite. Take me in. Oh, tender woman, take me in, for heaven's sake, take me in, oh, tender woman, sighed the vicious snake. I saved you, cried the woman, and you've bitten me, but why? You know your bite is poisonous, and now I'm going to die. Shut up, silly woman, said the reptile with a grin. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. administration, we're fully taking care of our own citizens first, including millions of African American and Hispanic Americans who are entitled to a government that protects their families and their communities. In this region of the country alone last year, ICE officers, we love our ICE officers. The Democrats don't like them. The Democrats don't like them. 
ICE officers are the toughest human beings, and they love the country as much as anybody in this room. Last year alone, they arrested over 2,000 criminal aliens charged or convicted of dangerous offenses, including robbery, rape, and murder. Over 2,000 accused of murder. Yet left-wing politicians support sanctuary cities that release criminal aliens directly into the American community. One of my guests at the State of the Union was American citizen Jody Jones. I introduced him that night. His beloved brother, Rocky, was murdered by a criminal alien in California.